Hey there, friends. So today, our devotion title is Server or Savior? Hmm, a question for us right off the bat. The verse that we're going to go to is John 13, 16. Not John 3, 16, but John 13, 16, which says, Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master. During the week before his crucifixion, Jesus washed his disciples' feet and instructed them to live with a servant's heart. We too need to heed this advice, need to take this advice. So now let's go into a pretend scenario. Pretend that you were recently dining with a family who took the term servant to a whole new level. They had their server running back and forth many times. Their list of requests was endless and trivial. Having worked as a server in my younger years, I would be appalled at the lack of respect for the waiter or waitress's time and for the demeaning way my friends in our imaginary situation would have spoken to them. You know, if given enough time to sit and ponder and think about how they were behaving, I think I would quickly realize that that is exactly how I treat Jesus at times. My list of requests is endless and there is little or no show of gratitude on my end. I tend to forget that he is first and foremost my savior. He lived, he died, and he rose for me and for you. That is the true meaning of servant and savior. Let's pray. Forgive us, Lord, for treating you as our servant. Help us appreciate your sacrifices. In your name we pray, the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Oh, that kind of pinned us to the to the wall, didn't it? Mm, just for a moment. Well, now here's our challenge, and it is do an act of service today. Period. That's it. Just go do one. And now I would love for you guys, after I pressed up on my end and you pressed up on your end, go to John and read all of chapter 13. I promise you will not be disappointed. Bye, friends.